Hello YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and this is my latest tool tip. So, anybody that's done any kind of flooring work knows that occasionally you just gotta wear knee pads and they're, but they're annoying to wear to, to make your space behind your knee sore. Um, they usually don't put them on until my knees are already sore because they're so annoying to wear. So I discovered uh, Carhartt knee pads. I saw them advertised, and, but they were sort of expensive. I think they were $15 a pair at the time. Uh, I didn't buy them because they were too expensive. But later on, I found some at a garage sale. I think I ended up having to pay $4 for them. There's some in here. I'm going to take them out just so I can show you what they look like. It's the only pair I have of the Carhartts. They are a little bit difficult to get out. You've got to get up in there and get them spinning, or spin, not spinning, roll them up so you can get the end through here and pull them out. Get caught on the thread. Once you get it started, it will come right out though. There's a thread right there and it causes trouble. So these are the Carhartt pads. They were this shape when I got them. They've been sitting in the sun apparently for a long time. Um, but they've survived multiple washing attempts. They've been through the washer a dozen times at least, maybe more. So I'm going to put uh, one of them in here to show you how, to, how they go in. But these, um, I really like these. They're they're in the pants, they're there all the time. I haven't had to take them out for washing. Um, all right, so I'm gonna slide that sucker in there. It's hard to keep it rolled. Once you get it in there, you just have to monkey with it until it lays flat. Okay, so it's in there. It'll gradually settle to the bottom. And they tend to stay fairly well centered. You can see on these, uh, there's about an inch of space there that the pad doesn't cover. But these seem to work really well. Um, you know, I've used them for doing flooring and stuff like that, but I leave them in there all the time. I'm constantly out and about doing stuff and I have to kneel down on gravel. Uh, I like these pretty well. It, even though they're sort of thin, they give plenty of padding for normal activities. Uh, I've used them for doing flooring work and stuff, but where, I, where they really shine for me is just my regular activities day to day. I'm constantly kneeling down on the ground. Uh, usually there's gravel there. And I've got these arthritic calluses on the ends of my um, I don't know what the name of the bone is, it's just below the knee joint. <clears throat> and if I hit a, a pebble on there, man, I tell you it hurts. But with these on there, it really makes a difference. So, but I've got a lot of pairs of Carhartts and I didn't have $15 for each pair. So I came across these things. These are military surplus. They're um, a package of four elbow and knee pads. They're all the same size. And let's put that up there so you can get the right numbers off of there. Hopefully you can see that. I'll put them in for the annotation if I have to. So this is what they look like out of the package. Um, they taper, they're thin on the sides, which is a drawback, but they still work pretty well. Now, I got these from a guy on eBay, and I checked just before I started this video, and currently the best price for these on eBay is uh, on a, from a seller called DK Line Dash Military Surplus. And he's selling these for uh, eight dollars with free shipping for a package which has four pads in it. So that means for four dollars you can do a pair of pants. Um, now the ones that I bought, uh, it was on special from another guy grunt surplus or something like that <clears throat> and he had two packs with free shipping um, for about nine dollars I think it was so you know this it was really cheap that means I could do four pairs of pants for nine dollars less than two dollars per pair of pants 
And so I bought a bunch of them. I still have some to put in. So I'm going to put some of these in. Um, this already has the car hearts in it. And uh, before I go any further, I guess I should explain. Now, these are really old. Um, I got these in about 1999, I think it was. And uh, they have the, the vent at the bottom is sort of narrow. So you can barely get two fingers in there. So getting pads in here is pretty difficult. You've got to really roll them up tight. And uh, this, this pair right here is a little bit newer, and the vent is just enough wider that it makes it easier to get them in. And this is even wider. So I'll do one of the wide ones. Um, I've had I've lost a bunch of weight recently, and I have to not have to. I get to go back down to my regular pant size. These have been in the closet for a long time. You can tell they're old because they're all made in the USA. It's become harder and harder to find American-made Carhartts get to hunt for them. Okay, so I've rolled it up as tight as I can get it. i to hold it in place, slide it right up in there. See, these ones with the big holes, it goes in easy. And they fit it around, it's in there. So we'll have to do both sides, of course. So I'm going to do one of the old ones. That one's sort of loose. This is the tight one. You might still have some of these around if you're an old user like me. So let's roll it up. Uh, I haven't tried to take any pads out of these old ones that have the tight hole. That's going to be even harder. That's not quite rolled up tight enough. So I have to do it again. Uh, these stay right on the back. Do not tumble dry or leave in the direct sun. I've washed these uh, a couple dozen times and uh, dried them in the dryer. Now I'm always, always careful not to overheat the stuff when I dry it. Um, I'll always I'll dry it and then at, on a low setting and then I'll finish it on tumble dry with low heat. So let's just twist that up in there. But anyway, it can, I'm just trying to show you this because this show that it can be done. I lost my grip on the, on the pad here. One of the drawbacks to having these pads in your pants is that they're there all the time and they'll make your knees hot. It's sort of warm today and my knees are a little bit hot. I have a pair, another pair on. Um, but I've gotten used to having them in there and so I'll kneel down in the driveway to look under the truck for some reason and if I don't have padded knee pads in there, it hurts. Alright, so this is going to Squirm that around in there to get it to lay flat. Move it, move it back and forth. Now it's equilibrize. That's not a word. All right, so that's in there. So that's the tool tip. Military surplus knee pads. They're available all over the net. The price is very wildly. Right now you can get them for eight bucks through. Uh, DK line dash military surplus that on M on eBay. Actually, he has them for even less than this for the next two days. But by the time I get this online, that price is going to be gone. And of course, you can use them in the military pants too as well. But all these car hearts with double knee pads they work great. I forgot to mention that uh, these Duluth Trading Company pants, their their fire hose work pants, are a double front. Basically, a ripoff of the uh, Carhartt design, except they use the fabric that you would use to make fire hoses out of. Uh, it's pretty tough, and the, they are more comfortable than the Carhartts. They're made in China. I didn't realize that when I bought these pair, this pair. But the knee pads will fit in here just as well. I have a pair in here. The vent is not real wide, but it's wide enough to get the knee pads in. That's it.